right we have this molecule now the molecular formula is c5h10o3 what would be the ihd for this molecule one five into two plus two twelve 12 minus 10 is equal to 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So IHG is equal to 1, which means that this molecule has only one double bond or ring in this structure. The molecular ion peak is absent. Uh, you see there is no peak at 118 m by z value here. It's not present, so it might be an unstable molecule where the molecular ion is uh, unstable. You see the intensity is less than one, so you can't see it here. But you can also calculate the molecular mass from the molecular formula as well. And it's an even mass confirming that there is no nitrogen present in the uh, molecule. The base peak appears at 29. What could be uh, this 29 peak? It doesn't hold it. Yes. 29 is a C2H5. It's an ethyl fragment. Here is the IR spectrum. And you see very intense sharp peak at 1746 per centimeter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a carbonyl signal. And usually esters give signals around 1745 or 1740. So it's most, most probably an ester. But we will see it later on and then you have the ch stretch here as well around 3000 and 2900 per centimeter you also have a very intense signal here this could be the uh, carbon carbon single bond stretching okay here is the proton nmr spectrum and it was recorded at 200 megahertz in cdcl3 uh, it's a pretty simple spectrum only two signals are there so we have a triplet here and a quartet here if you look at the integrations this is about two protons and this is slightly higher so this could be three protons so this signal at about 1.3 1.4 ppm uh, is appearing as a triplet and this signal at 4 ppm is appearing as a quartet so what do you conclude from this uh, spreading pattern? We have uh, discussed this in the previous example. When you have a triplet quartet combination, uh, this most probably is an ethyl group, right? So CH3 next to CH2 will give a triplet, and the CH2 next to this CH3 will give a quartet. But look at the chemical shift value of CH2. It's, again, similar to the previous example when uh, the CH2s are next to oxygens, their chemical shift value usually is around 4 ppm. So most probably it's an ethoxy group, right? So we have an ethoxy group uh, elucidated from the proton NMR spectrum. That is not all. We have how many? Five carbons? Yes, we have five carbons. And till now we have only two carbons elucidated and if you remember the IR spectrum we have a carbonyl as well all right okay so we have the depth and the broadband carbon 13 spectrum here and in the depth as you know the CH3 and CH give signals in the positive phase and CH2s are in the negative phase so we have one signal in the positive phase and another in the negative phase and that is a confirmation that uh, we have a CH2 in the structure you also saw it in the proton NMR spectrum that we have a CH2 in the uh, structure. In addition to this, we have a small peak here as well around, uh, say, 155, 156 ppm. And that could be a carbonyl group that we saw in the IR spectrum as well, because this signal is missing in the depth spectrum, so it's a quaternary carbon. So we have a CH3, we have a CH2, which is next to an oxygen. Uh, if you remember, last time I told you that when a CH2 is next to an oxygen, this carbon resonates about uh, 60 or more than 60 ppm, between 60 and 70. So if you look at this signal here, you can see it's about 62 to 63 ppm here, right? This is 40, 50, 60 and this is slightly above 60 so it could be 63 or 64 ppm right and that is a confirmation that we have a ch2 next to uh, oxygen 
Then we also saw a carbonyl in the IR spectrum. So now we have three carbons, one, two, three. We have five hydrogens and two oxygens. But we don't have any other signal in the proton NMR spectrum or in the carbon-13 NMR spectrum. We are done with the spectra, but we are deficient of two carbons, one oxygen and five hydrogens. Here we have uh, three carbons, two oxygens and five hydrogens, right? And we're deficient of two carbons, one oxygen and five hydrogens. So what do you suggest? What are we missing? We don't have any other signal in the spectrum. So what we are missing here? Is there a molecule symmetrical? Yeah, it could be a symmetrical molecule uh, because we don't have any other signals. So we have to uh, deal with the molecule, with the structure, with these signals only. So we can have another fragment pretty much similar to this. IHD is also satisfied. So we cannot have another double bond or another carbon in uh, here. We have uh, carbon and oxygen missing, but not every time it's a carbonyl group. So we don't have another carbonyl because if you remember the IHD was one, we already have one double bond here. So we cannot have another uh, double bond, either CC double bond or CO double bond that is already present here. So it's a symmetrical structure. Yes, you're right. And is there another ethoxy group? So if you add another ethoxy group, we are going to add two carbons, which we are missing, one oxygen, which we are missing, and five hydrogens. We are missing five hydrogens as well. So we can add another ethoxy group to this uh, carbonyl on the other side, and this would be the most probable structure now. And you see it's not an ester. What do we call this functional group? Is it an ester? No, sir. Mm -hmm. So what is it? A carbonyl attached to two oxygen. It's a carbonate, right? So it's a diethyl uh, carbonate molecule. And you can see now we have only two carbons having hydrogens here and two carbons having hydrogens here. But you can divide this molecule into exact two exactly similar halves uh, right through to this carbonyl group. And that is why the groups on the left will have the same chemical shift value as the groups on the right. So the carbons here, so you don't see four signals. You actually see two carbon signals uh, for the CH3 and the CH2 because on the right-hand side, the same CH3 and CH2 will have the same chemical shift value. Similarly, the hydrogens also will have the same chemical shift value on both the sides. So you saw in the proton NMR spectrum, we had only two signals, one for the CH3 and one for the CH2. Is it clear? Any confusion in this molecule? No, sir. Okay. Thank you so much.